an international station for an international city. This is Radio 3. Money Talk. Hello and welcome to Radio 3 on this Monday morning, the 8th of March. The time's 8.03 in Hong Kong. This is Money Talk with me, Peter Lewis. China's government has set a target of above 6% for economic growth in 2021. Speaking in Beijing on Friday at the annual two sessions of the two main political bodies of China, Premier Li Keqiang delivered his government work report to the MPC and hailed China's recovery from an extraordinary year. He outlined the economic policies for the year, including measures to boost lending to small businesses by over 30% in 2021. He also said the government wanted to create at least 11 million new jobs. Data released yesterday showed exports from China soared in the first two months of the year. Exports jumped 60.6%, boosted by a record-breaking 155% surge in February from a year ago. Imports gained 17.3%, the most since October 2018. You're listening to Money Talk on RTHK Radio 3. It's H24 on the phone now from Shanghai is independent economist Andy Shi. Good morning to you, Andy. Good morning, Peter. As we heard earlier, China's government has set uh, this economic growth target of above 6% for growth in 2021. Let me ask you, first of all, what's your um, forecast for economic growth on the mainland this year? Yeah, I think in the first half, 8% is likely because of the base effect and also because of the uh, the... Uh, the stimulus uh, uh, around the world, uh, more demand for Chinese goods. Okay, so it, it seems that 6% is low, isn't it? Why, why is it set such a low uh, target? I think uh, there, there, there are a lot of challenges. Uh, one mainly is that debt has uh, surged in the past two years. Mm. Social financing increased by about 90 trillion. And, and versus GDP increase of nine. So this 10 to 1 relationship has led to a bubble, uh, 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 like a really mushrooming. Mm. And a lot of companies are teetering uh, under debt. And uh, HNA just went bust. So the government really is uh, worried about that. And it's a major topic at the National People's Congress. So they want to deal with the debt a little bit this year. Mm. It's hit about, what, 270% of GDP. So is it at levels where uh, it's now well, a concern? Well, uh, you know, according to the uh, uh, the banking regulator, uh, uh, there's uh, another 80 trillion uh, uh, shadow banking system. Mm. So, uh, so, the, so, uh, the, uh, the, so the debt, debt it could be 350% of GDP. That's really, really high. Yep. Now, what about its target of increasing lending to small businesses by more than 30% uh, this year? How, how does it do that? Because it's, it's had trouble, hasn't it, encouraging banks to lend so far to small businesses? Well, I, I think that the, uh, uh, it's, uh, the government keeps talking about lending to small businesses. And I, I think that the, the reality is that it's a problem everywhere in the world. Uh, uh, small businesses have difficulty accessing financing from the formal banking, uh, formal financial system. So they, they tend to rely on uh, kind of uh, uh, friends, uh, families and uh, uh, accumulated profit. So I think that this is something that uh, the government keeps talking about, uh, but it never gets resolved. Mm. Now, some other things that came out of the two sessions. The word technology, uh, it was mentioned 23 times in Premier Lee's work report, and it emphasised uh, its plan to make the country an advanced manufacturing uh, uh, hub, um, and it wanted to do that by, by 2025. Is this being prompted by the fact that the US now is also going to pump a lot of money into funding to boost competitiveness against China? Are we in a sort of high-tech race now between the US and China? I think that 2025 was uh, was, was, was talked about for many years. Mm. Uh, so I think there's a, a new urgency uh, for, for tech uh, uh, on tech because of the tech war, and the uh, it looks like uh, the tech war will continue under Biden, mm. and especially access to semiconductor, and uh, China cannot make uh, advanced chips like. Uh, uh, 
uh, seven nano and now it's uh, going to be like a five nano five nano is going to be the stand the standard uh, china is very far away in in terms of that and the chip is really uh the uh the 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 oil for the uh, the modern economy in the 21st century. So China really has to overcome that. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult down the road. Yeah, it, it talked about uh, improving its competitiveness in areas such as robot- robotics, uh, new energy vehicles, smart cars, aircraft engines, high-end medical equipment, and, and so on. Does it, does it feel like it's falling behind in, in those areas? Well, I think that uh, the, uh, the, uh, some uh, some is important, like uh, air- aircraft engine, because because it concern concern military. Mm. Uh, a lot of uh, other things are really about uh, uh, no, not so important. I think that uh, because everything needs chip, and if China cannot make a chip, mm. uh, then you are really dependent on the United States. So I think that 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 is the key. Uh, I think the the key is f- uh, semiconductor fabrication. Mm-hmm. Especially for chip with uh, uh, under ten nano, or uh, 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 at, at least ten nano, uh, could it, be, it should be seven nano. And and what about it? The, the five year plan also includes increasing research and development spending by at least seven percent each year to try and reduce China's reliance on U.S. companies for for. Um, for semiconductors i mean clearly that's it's really throwing a lot of resources into r and d as well isn't it yeah i think that it's not a matter of the resources it's really about uh, focus uh, you look at what's going on in the world it's not a, uh, the uh, the impact uh, the, the the semiconductor is made in taiwan mostly it's tsmc that's the 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 real thing mm-hmm. the whole world depends on tsmc now uh, it, 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 TSMC uses the U.S. as uh, intellectual properties. That's why it needs to listen to the United States. Mm. So this is about manufacturing. It's a manufacturing is about uh, being able to do something really, really well mm. uh, for over many, many years. I think that, uh, if you throw money at it, 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 it doesn't get a result. It's mm. really about a focus about the people. And what about home prices? Premier Lee mentioned uh, runaway prices as one of the difficulties, as he describes it, in his work report. I mean, he said homes have become now so expensive that that Chinese couples are putting off having a second baby. So how important is reigning in home prices going to be in the next five-year plan? Well, it, 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 it came about because of the government uh, credit policy. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, social financing increased by 90 trillion over two years versus GDP increase of 9 trillion. So mm-hmm. where all did that money go? It went into the property speculation. Mm-hmm. So the, this is a, really a government's policy issue and, uh, and it don't look for uh, cause or solution elsewhere. It's within the government. Andy, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. That's Shanghai-based independence economist Andy Shi. You're listening to Money Talk on RTHK Radio 3.